North of 10 years after the occasions of the primary film, the film starts with Jake Soil portraying his humble and serene life as head of the Omadakaya faction and raising a family with his significant other Natiri, which incorporates his children Netam and Lok and his little girl Tuk, his embraced girl Kiri, brought into the world from Elegance Augustine's sluggish Navi symbol, and a human kid named Bug. The child of Miles Quaritch who was brought into the world on Pandora yet couldn't be moved to Earth in cryostasis as a baby. While Jake can acknowledge Bug as an embraced child, Natiri is skeptical of him given his human starting points. Notwithstanding, every one of the kids blend and mingle well with one another including Insect, whom Kiri is loving with despite the fact that he is a human. Bug doesn't embrace his human legacy and feels more lean to Navi culture and customs. They carry on with a typical existence until one day they notice an unusual star in the night sky. Sadly, they understand it's a RDA space transport with people getting back to Pandora to colonize it, raising another vitally working base once more, making critical obliteration Pandora. Among the fresh debuts in the boat is Colonel Quaritch, who has been cloned into a Navi body and with his recollections transferred from before his demise. Accordingly, Quaritch can't recall his end on account of Jake however is simply ready to remember the occasions previously and his wrathful mission to dispose of Jake. To keep the RDA from taking advantage of Pandora once more, Jake drives an essential guerrilla activity against the RDA supply lines debilitating them. In one of the tasks, Loke who resists Netam and is anxious to show what him can do as a Navi fighter, attempts to help Jake in fight yet is injured. Jake safeguards and teaches him to not jeopardize his own well-being by being crazy. That evening, while at the same time watching out for his injuries, Nitri smoothly reminds Jake to be not excessively unforgiving with Loke, to which Jake communicates his anxiety as a dad for the security of his youngsters. In the meantime, the retaliatory strike on the RDA supply lines doesn't agree with Quaritch who starts a pursuit mission to kill Jake. During an energetic endeavor, Jake's youngsters alongside Bug investigate further into the rainforest. Unbeknownst to them, Quaritch and his group are in the area investigating the site where Quaritch finds his human remaining parts. An attentive Loke sees their presence and rapidly illuminates Jake. An encounter results and Quaritch's crew catches Jake's youngsters. Jake and Natiri show up in time and free the majority of them. However Bug is taken by Quaritch, who remembers him as his child. On board the boat, the RDA attempts to constrain data about Jake from Bug whom rejects. Evolving methodology, Quaritch tends to Bug as his child and furthermore to make sense of more about the Navi in return for his opportunity on his side. In spite of the fact that unhelpful and uninformed about Quaritch's genuine mission, Bug shows Quaritch Navi culture. Quaritch is likewise effectively ready to tame an Ikron flying animal as his vehicle. Realizing the peril Bug's information on his whereabouts stances to their well-being and furthermore to keep away from another calamity, Jake persuades a hesitant Nitri and his family to expel themselves from the Amadakaya faction and retreat toward the eastern seaboard of Meat Kaina a coral reef island whose group and way of life is adjusted to Pandora's seagoing territory. Jake gives his central mantle to his replacement and passes on all together to meet Kaina. Once showed up, they are welcomed by the group boss Tanoari and his better half Ronal who is suspicious of them at first. Be that as it may, Jake makes sense of their circumstance and they are consented to remain and given cover. Despite the fact that a few tribesmen criticize Jake and his kids for their hereditary human legacy, the family learns the methods of the reef individuals gaining the appreciation of them. Kiri is captivated with the oceanic existence of Meat Kaina and fosters an otherworldly bond with the ocean and its animals, while Lok gets to note Siraya, the girl of family Bostanoari and his better half Ronal. While adjusting to their new climate, Loke gets into a battle with Tsiraya's sibling Aonung when he pokes a rough fun at Kiri. And him of their blended human genealogy. Jake reprimands his child for his way of behaving. At Jake's demand, Loke gets back to apologize to Aonung and his companions. In any case, they tempt him to an outing into the region of a perilous ocean hunter, the Akula, and leave him abandoned in retribution.
the Akul attempts to go after Loke. Nonetheless, Loke is saved by and gets to know Payagan, a Tulkun, a smart and pacifistic cetacean species whom the meat Kaina think about their profound family. Loke can speak with Payagan through marking and eliminates an old spearhead from the monster's right balance. Upon his revisitation of meat Kaina, Boss Tanoari, who became mindful of Aalanung's deceiving of Loke, requests that the previous apologize to Loke. In any case, Loke assumes the fault himself, winning Aalanung's kinship. He is likewise informed that Pagan is an outsider among his species. In the meantime, out traveling to a branch off of the Tree of Spirits, Carrie joins with it to meet her mom, yet experiences a savage seizure. She is recuperated by Ronald, yet when Jake calls Norm Spellman and Max Patel for help, Quaritch can follow them to the archipelago where the reef individuals reside. Carrying insect with him, he secured a whaling vessel which is hunting tulkuns to collect their cerebrum compounds for making hostile to maturing cures. Changes the whaling team to wantonly kill the tulkuns to draw Jake out. Loke intellectually connects with Payagan and discovers that the Tulkun was projected out in light of the fact that he conflicted with the methods of his species and went after the whalers who killed his mom. At the point when the meat Kain learn of the Tulkun butchers, Loke takes off to caution Payagan, trailed by his kin, Tsirea and Aana. They find Payagan being pursued by the whalers, and Loke, Kiri and Tukar caught by Quaritch. With their kids at serious risk, Aetiri and the meat Kaina set off on a mission to defy the people. Quaritch powers Jake to give up, yet seeing his spirit sibling risked, Payakin assaults the whalers, setting off a battle which kills the greater part of the group and basically harms the vessel, making it sink. Netaim salvages Loke and Insect, yet is lethally shot. Jake faces Quaritch, who involves Kiri as a prisoner. At the point when Aetiri does likewise with Bug, Quaritch at first denies his child, yet halts when Naitiri cuts Bug on the chest. Jake, Quaritch, Naitiri and Tuk end up caught inside the sinking vessel. Jake chokes Quaritch into obviousness and is protected by Loke and Payakin, and Carrie calls ocean animals to help her save Naitiri and Tuk. Bug finds and safeguards Quaritch, yet passes on him because of his mercilessness towards the Navi and putting his objective to kill Jake's family over being his dad and turning into a decent man, driving him back to rejoin Jake's loved ones. The way of water connects all things. Before your birth, and after your death. This is our home! I need you with me, and I need you to be strong.